Hey you guys, my name is Swana. Welcome back to my channel. I am the Crafty Puerto Rican. If you are new, welcome, welcome. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a follow-up of a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. I unboxed my cover stitch. It's my first cover stitch. So I did just the unboxing and I got to show you around the machine. Today what I'm going to be doing is threading the machine and also doing some testing on some um, scrap fabric to make sure that I have the correct stitching, the correct... Um, tension on the machine and also I'm going to be working with the needles. So this is a journey we're going to be doing together because this is my first cover stitch machine and I'm very excited to start using it. So let's go at it. So I'm going to be starting um, by threading the machine um, and I'm going to be um, placing the spools um, and then after I do this part then we're going to be um, testing the machine, making sure that the stitches are okay and that the tension is perfect for the fabric that I'm going to be using. So I am placing uh, those spools. These spools I got from Amazon. Um, they were labeled as um, serger um, thread. So um, I'm going to be starting threading, starting from the looper, which is on the um, right side um, all the way to the left and I don't think you need to follow really like an order but that's the way that I've seen it done on the uh, tutorial that I've been uh, watching and so I'm gonna follow that so the thread um, you're gonna start um, threading it from the back to the front and I'm gonna be using the thread that came with the uh, machine because it came threaded I'm lazy that way um, even though it's not difficult to thread at all, it's much, much easier to thread this machine than the serger. But, you know, I'm going to be using the thread that came. So I am I'm doing it. It's, it came wrapped around on that nub in there. So I'm just going to tie it like I did with my uh, multi-needle machine embroidery and the same thing I did with the serger. Um, and I'm just going to pull it down. So I started um, with the looper, which is the thread that is um, on the bottom. I open the door in front of the machine. I am pressing down on that knob on the top to the right, and that opens up the, the um, dial so that you can pull the thread through. And that's what I'm doing right now. All right. And I'm gonna follow the same thing with the rest of the three spools. Now I'm gonna be doing the one next to which is the third needle. And I'm gonna tie it the same way. And then I'm gonna pull the little knob down so that I can open the dial and let the um, thread go through. And what that thing does is locks the thread in. So if you don't push it down, it just, um, you won't be able to pull it through. So I'm going to be repeating the same thing with the third needle, the second needle, and the first needle. I need to order um, some other color thread, like maybe black, um, you know, like the basic colors, um, just to have it in on hand. Um, this is very easy to thread. Um, so um, when I need um, to change colors for a garment, I will be able to do it because like I said, it's very simple to thread uh, and change colors. When I first got my serger, I um, was very scared to thread it because um, the serger is a little bit more complicated. Um, but also, you you get used to it also. But this one, this one is no issue. This is pretty straightforward and easy. I have already gotten some pattern from Elian Mac, uh, which I plan to use uh, with the serger and um, this cover stitch. Um, and yeah, 
I've been using the regular sewing machine to sew things for me, but now that I have the cover stitch, it's gonna give me more options to, yeah, to sew um, better um, quality patterns, you know, like the termination of the garment. I am very excited and I can't wait to start using this machine for sewing more stuff for me and for other people. So I'm done with threading the machine and this is the piece of fabric that the machine came with. So I'm just going to repeat the whole thing all over and see if the stitching looks good. And um, it looks like it looks good, of course, twisted, but yeah, it looks nice. The tension looks nice. Um, I think I'm going to move the looper a little bit tighter, but I mean, other than that, um, it's pretty much the factory setting and it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna do it all over again um, just to make sure that everything is perfect and no issue with the tension. And also to practice how to take off the fabric from um, under the foot because it's not like a regular sewing machine. There is a particular way you have to um, do releasing of the thread so that you can take off the fabric from under the foot in the machine. And that's what I'm cutting the thread right now. I did it real fast following the instruction from the manual. And I'm going to do it um, a second way that um, I've learned I'm watching some tutorials on YouTube on how to release the fabric. So, yeah depending on what you wish to do. Some people do it one way, some other people do it other way. So um, this is the handkerchief. It's like a scrap fabric that I have. I was doing some handkerchief um, for an order and a couple of them got uh, messed up. So I kept it just to practice in the machine. So I fold it and then I'm gonna run the machine all over again and see um, how the stitches look. And like I mentioned before, I pretty much left it at the fabric setting. So now we are going to release it. And um, according to the um, manual, you had to lift up the foot and put the needle on the upside position and pull the fabric backwards and just pull i mean you really have to kind of like pull hard so this is the way the manual tell you to release the fabric and i forgot to mention that while you're pulling you have to push down the knobs on the top from the you know the dial ones to open the dials so that the thread could flow it looks real nice in the back um so I'm gonna try it uh, one more time and see how it looks. One thing that I forgot to mention is that before you start, you're supposed to push um, manually, um, dial down the needle twice um, in place before you start running the machine. I had to stop it because something felt stuck in it. So um, I'm going to start all over again. I'm pulling the thread um, out. Make sure that all the threads are in place. Something got stuck under. I don't know what it was. Um, so I'm going to start all over again. And so I'm making sure that all the things are threaded correctly. And the threads are okay. They didn't come off or anything like that. Yep, so let's start all over again and see what's up.
So if you notice my right hand, I pull the foot down and then the dial, I dialing in um, twice. That's what I meant, uh, what I said before. And that's what the uh, instruction said to do. So that's what I'm doing. I mean, right now the stitches are wobbly all over the place, but right now all I'm doing is just testing the tension of the um, threads. So now I'm going to lift up the foot, make sure that the needles are on the upright position and pull again and then cut off the threads. And the stitches are fine. So I don't know what happened the time before, but it works fine now. So now this is the place that I was um, talking about the knobs. So I'm gonna go in detail what I was talking about. Those knobs in there, right there, um, you're supposed to push the three of them together before you release the thread. And I am holding the camera with my left hand and it's hard to figure out my fingers. So before you pull the fabric off, you have to push these levels all at the same time to release the thread and then you pull the fabric off. And uh, let me go through and display the pass of the thread. So this is a looper thread. So it goes down all the way down and then you open the door and this is the path of the looper thread. And you pull this wind up off and um, you thread the thread through there. Okay, it's very self-explanatory, very easy. And that's how you thread the looper. And then you're gonna go up to the third needle, which is the green dial. It goes down, you're gonna go under this metal, under here, all the way up around and then you follow the, you're following the green line okay it's gonna go around that metal um, piece in there all the way down behind this bar all the way in okay and then you're gonna make it down to the second bar all the way back there same thing with the um, pink dial you're gonna go down. If you notice the thread got on the other side of the metal piece, not to the right, like the green one. Then the yellow one, and you're gonna follow it. Okay, it's gonna go under under there, also to the other side, but then it's gonna go to the left side part of that piece behind that bar all the way in. And if you notice that's the diagram, it's very self-explanatory, it's very easy to follow. Okay. So now I'm gonna be using another um, a piece of fabric. This is also cotton, but it's a darker color and that way uh, I can see the stitches even better. And I'm gonna go through it all over again. Um, and this time I'm gonna practice uh, the release of the fabric. Um, there's another way of releasing the fabric that I saw on a tutorial. And I'm going to um, show both ways of releasing the fabric. The one that we just did and the other um, way of doing it. So this is the end and um, it looks very nice from the back. Um, so definitely I got the extensions uh, down already. So I'm gonna release it the way that um, the manual um, said to do, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna push the, the knobs that I showed earlier, three at the same time, and I'm gonna pull back. And you really have to pull, it's not like a, I mean, a smooth pull, but you know, I'm just gonna follow what it says again in closer so you can see what I've been doing. You see, I had to pull and it's pulling all the way. 
I'm supposed to do that and then I'm supposed to cut the three threads on the top first and then pulling back that and then pull to uh, release the um, bottom thread and that's it and um, the stitches they look nice um, everything looks good and I'm happy that I figured out the um, setting of the tension the back looks excellent um, yep and remember that the tension depends on the fabric that you're using so each fabric is different and no matter if it's the same machine you, uh, you might have a different tension that I have on my machine so now I'm gonna start all over again on the other side and I'm gonna repeat it and then I'm gonna show you the second way of releasing the thread okay uh, not the thread the fabric from the machine once you're done um, stitching okay so that's what I'm doing right now I'm doing it manually twice I make sure that the needle is in the down position before I start sewing Look at me sounding like I'm so expert and this is my first time doing this. <laughs> okay, so I'm done. I'm pulling the needle up and then also the foot up. And for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to release uh, on the top. All right, push it down. And I'm going to use, um, you can use a tweezers or you can use this. And you're going to pull the thread um, from behind. And by mistake, I severed the third one, but I'm going to try to uh, explain it anyway. And then um, you're going to um, pull the three st strings at the same time all the way towards you. I'm trying to catch that um, third needle thread that I cut by mistake. But anywho, um, you're going to pull that, those strings towards you all the way in. Remember, you have to be releasing from the top of the machine to make sure that the thread is moving and I'm going to pull this to the front to make it easier uh, for me to pull it so you're supposed to pull that all the way towards you okay all the way all the way all the way all the three strings all right so once you have pulled all the strings towards you I mean a pretty good length you're gonna use the stitch reaper from under the um, foot and then you're gonna cut the, all the three strings after that you're going to be pulling the fabric and then you're going to be cutting the looper thread i'm going to go ahead and thread the third needle and then i'm going to show you again the way to do it without me breaking the third um, needle thread okay So I place another piece of fabric under and we're going to repeat everything again, all right? And um, this time um, I'm going to be using some tweezers to pull the thread to the front. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift up the needle, lift up the foot of the machine. I'm going to lift up those um, th three threads, okay? Let me put this in the right place okay it was off the thread i'm gonna pull that and at the same time once i do that i'm gonna hold it with my finger i'm gonna with the right hand push the knobs on the top to release the tension of the thread and i'm gonna be pulling all the way towards me all the way the three strings and then we're gonna be using the stitch reaper and we're gonna be cutting all three threads from under the foot i'm gonna go under the foot pull the thread towards me and make sure that the thread goes back in position and right there i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut it under and then i'm gonna pull the fabric okay i'm gonna pull the fabric and cut then the bottom thread you see i mean both way works i don't know exactly which way i'm gonna be i look at the, that looks so nice okay i don't know which um technique i'm gonna be using 
Uh, I guess I will decide later. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the third needle because now I'm going to use, use two needles, which most of the work that you do on hemming uses two needles. So I'm going to release that needle um, and keep the machine with only, only two needles. I turned off the light so that you can see better. And this is the tool that I'm going to be using. It comes with the machine to unscrew um, the needle um, from the machine. All right. I'm going to show you. Um, I This is the manual and it shows you how to do it. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the thread from the needle. And the one that I'm taking off is the third needle, which is that um, right there. This one right here. Okay, that's the third needle. And you see those little holes on the top? So the third hole to the right is the one that I'm going to be unscrewing. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the little, um, uh, it's like a little um, screw in there, it's tiny. And all I gave was two little turns and I pull it down with the tweezers and it's off. That's all, it's very easy to do. So now what I'm going to be doing is practicing um, the stitching with only two needles. I'm placing on the same kind of fabric um, that I used before on the left. I'm going to be having the three needle stitching and now I'm going to do the two needle stitching um, on the right side so that we can compare um, how they look. And the stitching looks very nice. Tension is perfect. So yeah, I'm getting it down now. I feel a little more confident now. And yeah, so I am happy about it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna make sure that all the threads are in place. They look good. And um, I'm going to use a new piece of fabric, same kind of fabric that I've been using. And I'm going to run it one more time. This machine runs so smooth. I love it. Barely make any noise and it's very, very smooth. This time I'm going to do the second kind of releasing, which I'm going to be using the tweezers again. Remember uh, that I explained two different kinds of releasing the fabric. So this time I'm going to do the second uh, way of doing it with the tweezers. I'm going to pull the three threads all the way towards me. All right. And then I'm at the same time, even though I'm not showing it, I'm releasing from the top. I'm releasing the three knobs on the top. All the way, I use the um, thread cutter under the foot, and then I'm gonna cut it, pull the fabric, and then I'm gonna cut the bottom thread. Hey, I look like an expert, isn't it? I feel like I have it down, that I get it, and yeah. So yay, I did it. So for now, I'm gonna keep it at these settings because it works for me. And I'm telling you, I am very happy. This is a very good machine. So when you're ready to set up your machine, you should have your manual, scissor, the screwdriver that come to release the needle, um, tweezers, and um, scrap of fabric so that you can practice on. And yeah, that will help you a lot. And um, just to clarify, this um, 
tutorial that I did today um, or explanation. Um, I just applied to the Brother 2340CV. Um, and doesn't apply to any other cover stitch, okay? Just to make that clear. Because I know Brother has another um, type of cover stitch. So this is the end of me uh, working with my new machine and going through the whole process of threading. Um, I love this machine. It runs very smoothly. I thought it was more complicated to use, but it's actually very straightforward and easy to use. So if you are new to my channel and you like this kind of content, um, go ahead and subscribe um, to the Crafty Puerto Rican. Um, I include a lot of content on my channel, including sewing, um, embroidery, um, heat transfer vinyl, sublimation. And also don't forget to click the thumb up. Um, that will help grow my channel and will allow my videos to be shown more often. For those who are already subscribed, thank you for supporting. And I will see you very soon with more content. Um, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Hasta luego.